Now in this phase we're going to continue the, the lessons um, introduction to Capella by allocating physical functions and interactions to the, the physical behavior components. We're going to finish what we started in the last um, session. Uh, to do that we will execute this capability and this capability follows the capability that we previously did uh, where we refine the physical functions. The approach that we will use to refine the physical functions and inter interfaces is to open the PAB used in the last session. Then we're going to open up the PDFB that were used to refine the objects. Then use the functions on that diagram to locate the functions in the Project Explorer. That can be done just by doing a right mouse click operation. Once they're located, we can allocate them by dragging them to uh, the behavior objects. And when all the childs have been allocated, uh, we will be remove the parent allocation from the from uh, parent function from the allocated behavior objects that we did uh, in the last session. We now will go and transition over to the model and we'll do the steps. So here's the model that we had from the last session and we completed. Uh, now what we're going to do is we're going to open up uh, the models, the objects that we decomposed. So I'm going to open up the PDFB. Um, we'll split the screen like we've done before. And you'll see that I have these functions that were broken up. You know, we had the send status, now we have four functions here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to navigate to this one by doing show in the Project Explorer. And you notice that it even is set up as a hierarchy over here. So now you can see the, the children functions. So we're going to do uh, send the status for the charger, which is right after gather performance. So we're going to take that one and we'll bring that and allocate it to this guy. Okay, so now it's placed on there. And it's, notice it's a little small, so we'll just move it around a little. Here's the send status. And then that send status uh, basically now then goes over to this photon particle, which will gather up all the statuses of all the chargers. So we're going to take over that one. So here it is. And I'm going to allocate that one to there. Then next we have the relay charger status, which again we can see over here. And we're going to move put that over into the cloud. There. Oops. Like that. And finally we're going to display the statuses. And so we basically now have completed everything regarding sun status. So with that completed, then I'm going to go over to the function allocation menu that we had here that we had seen earlier. Manage function allocation. And I'm going to remove the send status from this. Okay, so now it's been unallocated. So we don't have to have send status isn't in that operator anymore. That's how I did the unallocation. And now with that one completed, We'll go to the other one, which is down here. And I'm going to open that one up. That's it. And we'll divide the screen again. And we have the gather location of all the chargers. So we'll get that. We have provide location, we have compute location. And so we're gonna add a, we're gonna add this gather location of all the charges. We're gonna do that to here. So you see now it's, we have gather. Oh, so I'll have to do the step where I have to take that object and show it in the Project Explorer. Okay, and I'm going to take that and then put it over into here. 
Okay, and then I have reload the locations. So then the Project Explorer. <clears throat> We've got that done. Okay, now we have compute location here. And I see that compute location is still pointing to provide location right here. So that means to me that I need to add compute location into this mix. So let's do that. So we have provide location. Let me just uh, provide location probably shouldn't be connected directly to that. So let's take the provide location. Oh, here's the compute location. Right there. There's provide location right there. That should go to Look at the Semantic Explorer to see what we have. Now there's the yeah, other's compute location on top of this provide location. Let's find out where that provide location is located. Semantic Explorer. So that provide location there uh, needs to be moved. Oh, that's a child object. So let's bring that, put this over in here. That was not allocated in the right place. This makes more sense now. Let's take a look and see if this makes sense. Ah, I see what the problem is. Okay, so that provides location there. There was a mistake on what that was connected to. Uh, I was getting confused with this provide location. So, what we need to do then is I need to fix this thing up a little bit. This is this is the type of thing that you sometimes get yourself into, and I kind of figured out what's going on. Provide location. I still want it to basically, in this case, I want it to, to provide that information to uh, this guy here. So what I really need to do then is that's relay, relay this relay here. The output of it should really be going to this guy. So what I'm going to do in this case, is I'm going to get rid of this flow which is wrong. And I'm going to take this flow here and I'm going to con connect it to this provide location, which is this output. So these two flows are wrong also. Deleting that from that parent. That's going to delete that flow there. And this provide location here is now going to be made to connect to this receive location there. Like that. Okay. And I'm going to create a new functional chain from here to there. Okay. And, and then I'm going to have this compute location to gather locations of chargers that's here.
Yep, wrong one. There we go. Okay, so let's see how that looks. Both views of this. Okay, so notice now compute location is connected to this. Provide location is now connected to here. Yes, this makes sense. Okay, so there's compute location, gathers it, provides it, receives the location. This also looks clean here uh, for these items. We want to make this a little bigger, give ourselves a little bit more room to see how it looks. Okay. okay, and that looks decent. Gather performance and status for a charger, uh, compute the location. Okay, so now what I'm going to do is, uh, this looks pretty good. So now I'm going to allocate these uh, functions to the component exchanges, which we did in the last video. So I'm going to basically go here and I'm going to say, the functional exchanges, do them all, yes. And then I'm going to do the same thing here for the component exchanges. For this guy, allocate all the functional exchanges. Yep. And then I'll go to this one and allocate again all the functional exchanges. And the only one that's a little suspicious right now is this one link here, this gather location from chargers. So we're going to get rid of that one. Uh, we're going to deallocate it because it doesn't really make sense. We also have, yep, so we're going to take care of that. We're going to get rid of that and deallocate it. Now it doesn't be on here. It's been completely allocated. So Oops, wrong one. I'm gonna get rid of this one. So it's gone. So now we've got all the function exchanges all allocated to see the dotted lines here. So we got things working like we expected there. So we've got all the functions allocated to things that we need them allocated to. And I'll just change this to We got all the chargers now, locations being provided to the operator. And we also can add a component exchange here. There's a component exchange happening from here to here. And we can fully allocate those also. They're not quite as critical. So notice that what I'm doing here is I'm actually with physical, uh, when you have a physical port going to an actor, uh, you've got to do the allocation right here on the port itself. And that's been done. So we have everything allocated. Uh, the next step will go into uh, basically the you know doing the functional chains and make sure we got those completely covered. Uh, thank you.